I'm angry. When I drive down the street, I want to impale things with my car. Why can't I? Why can't I? Well, now you can! It's, it's a, a Shenmue Shen Shen Impaler! <laughs> Just walk on by Don't stop and say hi Don't give me money Even though I'm clearly starving Monroe? Hey John, suck on this. Oh, <laughs> when I was 15, I got tapped by the Florida Bureau of Tourism and Commerce to do a jingle for Fort Lauderdale. Come party in Fort Lauderdale Hit the beach and learn how to sail There's only one killer whale And he's all chained up Just you wait for spring break and Lauderdale. It's going to be fun. One name currently dominates the American music scene, Pete Grock. His latest release, The Golden Age of Grock, is the number one selling album in the world, and critics across the board have hailed it as his greatest achievement to date. However, as the old saying goes, you have to start somewhere, and Pete Grock did with someone else who got lost on that rocky road to success. Rafferty, along with Brock, co-founded the band. Yet his eccentric behavior wearing a Native American headdress and new wave face paint during every show, along with his wild man antics both on and off the stage, which included sleeping in a running shower, inventing the now outlawed fruit golf, and hijacking a talent show, forced Brock to part ways with him and form a new group. And it was this band that shortly thereafter caught their big break with the hit single, Welcome to the Golden Age. So where is John Rafferty now? 
Sucker Woods is my house. Look, the band started out as just me and Pete. At that point, we were still trying to find ourselves musically. Our sets consisted mostly of, um, instrumental jams, where we sometimes had a performer doing interpretive dance along with the music. But overall, our sound was, uh, it was leaning towards a more, like, unstructured, cello-based form of rock. Kiki Balzar's Grammy Award-winning album, Wild Sitar, Counting Blue Cars by Dishwalla, and all the songs played on that show, California Dreams. Why do you say that? Yeah, the dream got shattered. This is just a temporary setback. This is a rebound. It happens to everyone. I'm a nature person. Look, I've already got a new band. We're called Spaceship Aliens. I've got this 13-year-old kid that plays keyboard. We're playing a show at my place. You know, just, just to get started. Things are gonna happen. Getting kicked out of a popular band is just the beginning. Look at Ozzy. He got kicked out of Black Sabbath. That worked out for the best. I, I, I have talent. Even though he's on the front page of old news, John is not discouraged. His new band is anxious to cut their first single, Alien Underneath My Bed, and John is confident that his new idea of playing shows in the front lawns of people that he does not know will put him back on top. Reality and time will prove him wrong. You got a lawn and you want it green, strong and healthy, noble weeds. You got a call. Ventilator de feu. Je suis un homme perdu. Mon ventilateur de feu ne fonctionne pas. Je marchais mille milles. Et ce jour, je suis à la nulle part. Ventilator de feu. I need to find people who are real I need to get that heart and feel So moving out to the best I'm moving to the Midwest The Midwest The Midwest In west, I'm gonna shoot the breeze, hang out behind the tasty trees, John Cooper Camp. Mary, it is time for the show to begin. All right, I'll be down in a second, baby.
Godzilla got a raw deal. A raw deal. He was a victim of nuclear power gone wrong. Way wrong. And now everyone wants to kill him. He's got Mothra on his back, but I'll protect you, Jack. I won't let nobody creep to you. You and I, we're going to Fort Lauderdale. Spring break, Godzilla! Troublemakers around here. Well, you ain't heard the last of me yet, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 